G'day everyone, welcome to another episode of Birdhouse. In this episode, I will be continuing the Oceanic region area. <laughs> um, last episode, I built the cassowary enclosure with a cafe out front of it, and I'm really happy with how that turned out, and I also added a little toilet in after uh, that episode finished, so you can see that on the side of what you can see right now. So that looks really good. Um, but in this episode, I will be making four different enclosures. The first one being the King of Saxony, Bird of Paradise. I believe they're from New Guinea. And then we've got the Cockatoos, which are from Australia. And it's just a variety of different cockatoos. Um, just put all in one enclosure. So, yeah. Happy with that. And... Then it will be the songbird, so a variety of different songbirds. I read I read online that they migrated from Australia, so that's why you'd see like some songbirds that perhaps live in Europe or America, like a robin redbreast. That <laughs> I know they live in England, so um, yeah, they do also live in Australia. And the final one is the figure. Uh, I really liked it. I tried to go with a beachy, be just a beachy look. Not too much trees. I didn't really add any trees. I just add some bushes because on the photos I see, they none of them really sit in the trees. They just sit on the ground with the bushes, which is fine. I added some small trees that they can sit on if they want, though, which is which is good. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, so with the the cockatoo enclosure, I tried to go for a sort of like Western Australia look, even though most of the cockatoos in this enclosure are from the more eastern side of Australia, like the Suffer Crested, the, I think it's the, hmm, I can't remember the name, but there's, yeah, there's definitely a few that are more on the eastern side of Australia. Try to add some eucalyptus trees, I really like them, and just some other shrubs around as well. For the songbird enclosure, I just added a few trees, sort of go for like a, a beachy forest, um, not, not too detailed, just just something where they can all be and for some reason all the songbirds sat, sit in one place in one corner so yeah I don't really know how to fix that but the songbirds are from the Bet Animal Animals Plus mod so maybe it something, has something to do with a different AI that they're using maybe a packing AI because they all sit together I don't know but I think that's all I have to say over this video. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you in the tour. Bye bye.
continuing on from what I built last episode, made this beautiful cassowary en enclosure. Uh, shouldn't probably shouldn't have put so much in there because they are quite territorial, but it is Minecraft after all, so I don't think it matters too much. And we also made this beautiful cafe. I, I really like this cafe. And then after that video, I made a little toilet. Oh, probably shouldn't have gone in the girls' toilet. <laughs> um, and here's the highlighted parts of Oceania. So there, there wasn't any New Zealand highlighted flag, so couldn't really do that. But this is the unofficial flag for Oceania. Um, I just saw it online. It's the whole website about it, and that's sort of a flag. I tried to make it in pixels. It's all right. But here are the four new animals added in the Oceanic Era. So first, I'll go over the King of Saxony, Bird of Paradise. And they, you can see they've got these beautiful, uh, what are these? Feathers. Oh, yeah, they are feathers, but I forgot what type of feathers they are. I forgot. Uh, quill? They're not quill feathers, are they? I don't know, I can't remember. But you can see the, the white feathers on the back. I actually believe the new Hypsilophodon texture is based off of these guys in um, in the Isle. So if you play the Isle, the new dinosaur being added is being based off this guy. Very nice. And yeah, just try to make it pretty tropical, um, dense. I think I think it's fine. It's not the best in this whole building, but. Yeah, it's still pretty good. Now we've got the cockatoos. You can see the South Crested. You can see the Galah. You can see the... I always forget that one's name, but... I see them flying over my house sometimes. We've got the locked door, so if one comes in this room, it can't go through this room. So two, two doors. Oh, you almost got out there. I believe that's the palm cockatoo. Yeah, I just can't remember these guys' names. But this enclosure, I'm very happy with it. Tried to go for a West Australia look. Um, now I tried to go for a dry riverbed. Bed. So it's dry, sometimes when it rains, these fill up a little bit. But yeah, I didn't actually add any water in here. I'll probably do that after this part. Yeah, uh, very, very nice. Very nice enclosure. Oh, got stuck. There we go. Next we have the songbirds, and these are from Better Animals Plus. They all like to sit in this corner for some reason. But yeah, this this is the enclosure. Tried to go for a beachy forest. Um, not there's not too much to this enclosure. It's just it's just the songbird enclosure. <laughs> and finally, we've got the figret enclosure, and this is one of my favourites. I just love the detail in the ground all through there, and they seem to like it. In the pictures I saw online, they sit in these little bushes, which there aren't any of the plants, those plants in this, in any of the mods, so I tried to recreate them with different plants, and I think I, I did pretty well. And they look pretty happy, they don't seem to go anywhere, because this is where I spawned them in, and they haven't moved. But, yeah, that's, that's all of them. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to end the episode off here. I hope you enjoyed the, the Oceanic region. Next episode will be the Asian region, which will be over there. Did I break anything? I don't think I did, which is good. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Bye-bye. Take care.